are live at the World Economic Forum this week in Davos, Switzerland. Joining me right now is Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin, along with Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross. Secretary Mnuchin, great to see you. Thank great you for joining the conversation. Well. We appreciate it very much. Um, I was just watching a panel that you were on here in Davos, and I know that you've been hammered with questions about the dollar. Were you, were you surprised to get all of this focus and questions hammered about your comments that a weaker dollar is good for trade? Again, I, I, I am a bit surprised because my comments on the dollar have been completely consistent with what I've said over the last year. But for whatever reason, uh, they've been amplified in the last two days. So let me be clear on my view on this is the dollar is one of the most liquid trading markets in the world. It's the reserve currency because people have confidence in the dollar and the safety of the dollar. Where the dollar is in the short term is not a concern of ours. In the long term, uh, I do believe the dollar will strengthen in the long term uh, as a result of the U.S. economy, the growth of the economy, and everything else. But where it is in the short term is not a concern of ours. And my comment was just stating the fact, which in the short term, a lower dollar is helpful to our trade imbalance, okay, and has certain benefits. So it was really a statement of fact. Uh, we support free currencies. Other people intervene in currencies. I think, as you know, the Treasury puts out a currency report where we, you know, have issues with other people who have currency intervention. So the market will reflect where the currencies are. And again, whether you look at it over the last hour, the last day, the last week, three years, five years, uh, it, it moves. Yeah, but I guess in, in past administrations, the Treasury Secretary was always worried about saying anything about the dollar. You were actually honest, and you basically said what is obvious, that a weaker dollar is, is good for trade. But, you know, in the past, a lot of Treasury Secretaries would say, we believe in a strong dollar policy, even if their actions didn't support that. I, I think that is the case. And I think, I, I think part of the reason that this has created a lot of news is because, in recent times, not all times, but in recent times, you know, going back for a, a number of years, the Treasury Secretary has just kind of commented on strong dollar, strong dollar, strong dollar. And again, my perspective is there's a free market. Uh, where it is in the short term is not of concern of ours. But do you worry, as the leading economic voice in the country, if not the world, your, your comments move markets? And here we have the dollar dropping to a three-year low. So are you going to change that stance of being so honest? Uh, again, I think part of the reason why it moved markets is because the press took part of what I said and amplified part of what I said. And that's perhaps why the market, if you look at my full transcript from yesterday, it was incredibly balanced. It was consistent with what I've said over the last year, and it wasn't news. So uh, again, I think this is one of these things that if my full transcript had been uh, looked at, perhaps uh, it, it, it wouldn't have had the same impact. But again, the, the markets will be where the markets will be. What we're really excited about, and the reason why we're here, is to tell the economic story. And I think we got a great story. We got tax reform, tax cuts done last year. We couldn't be more excited about that. We are on the basis of 3% or higher GDP sustained growth. This is the president's number one objective. We've seen over two and a half million workers now get special bonuses of $1,000 or higher, higher wages. I mean, this is what the president is focused on. During the campaign, as we've said, the average worker in the U.S. went nowhere in the last eight years and didn't participate. And this is all about American jobs, growth for American workers. And the reason why we have the largest delegation here we've ever had is to say to the world, we're open for business, we're very attractive for business, and come invest in the U.S. And a good U.S. economy is great for the rest of the world. Actually, you know, I was speaking with some people from Europe, and they said that they were changing their strategy in terms of investing. Every CEO we've talked to here from a European country company is putting more into the U.S. Yeah, initially they were putting money into Europe, and now they're shifting to the U.S. They Correct. think that the tax policy Absolutely. is much more attractive. Absolutely. So it's actually better than you even expected? Or it, 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 I'll tell you, the response from companies, we, we thought this was going to be fabulous. It's turned out to be amazing. The response that we've seen in a short period of time of Apple bringing back 
you know, hundreds of billions of dollars of companies, whether it's AT&T, B of A, you go down the road, J.P. Morgan, all the banks, uh, manufacturing, people now investing tens of billions of dollars in the U.S. and giving workers raises. This is what this is all about. So we couldn't be happier with the response. And as uh, Secretary Ross has said, the, the message we're here is a lot of people are now talking about shifting their operations back into the U.S. And uh, it's an exciting story, and we're looking forward for the president to be here in the president's speech. Yeah, which is why you're seeing the jobs conversation take take flight, and Absolutely. everyone's talking about what it means for jobs. You know, it's interesting because it's really getting hard to deny the impact of the tax plan, and the mainstream media is trying hard, and, and the left is trying hard to come up with some reasons for this strength away from your, your tax plan and your policies, because the policies have clearly been focused on economic growth. Companies getting these bonuses as well as the conversation about 4% growth. But I want you to listen to this soundbite um, from a, a question to Gary Cohn, your, your uh, colleague uh, in Washington, when he was explaining why the president and, and uh, you all were coming to Davos. Listen to this. We just had a litany of, of, of businesses that are going to give back to the American people. But doesn't, isn't it unfair to... to give the president credit for that they already had that money in their coffers right i mean what we're saying are they they would have not turned it loose otherwise so the point is is the left is saying this was all going to happen anyway yeah but they they have no alternative but to make up fiction but eventually facts overcome fiction and i think the fellow who just got a thousand dollar check doesn't care what the left wing media says right. and the person who gets a tax cut in the next withholding he's also he or she is also not going to care what the left wing media says well it's also and, coming and, from the, the other side nancy pelosi called it crumbs right. and, and Mar maria as you know last year when we were talking about three percent gdp everybody lined up and said we were crazy right. that the economy couldn't grow at higher rates than two percent given the size of the economy and where we were so now we're at three percent gdp and you know we're going to be at sustained three percent gdp or higher and it's called the tax cuts and jobs act because this was about creating american jobs and that's what this is all about. So, Secretary, before you go, let me ask you to look ahead for us. The State of the Union is next week, and we've got now a, a whole host of policies to, to look at over the last year. What should we expect from the State of the Union yes, next week? Is it going to be largely about economic policies of this administration? Um, we are looking forward to the State of the Union, and I'm not going to steal the president's speech. But okay. what I can tell you, the president coming here is going to talk about free and fair trade, reciprocal trade, and uh, America is open for business. Secretary Ross, Secretary Mnuchin, good to see you both. Thank you. Thank nice you so much for joining you. us, Stephen Mnuchin and Wilbur Ross.